Hey guys, Greg at Panels R Us. Today's video is going to be a quick one and it's just demonstrating how to get multiple rows of panels from a single output on a panel controller, be it a hat, a cape, or even a color light. So let's dive straight in. Now I've got four panels here in a two by two configuration, as we can see on the desk. And we're gonna try and run them, or we're gonna succeed in running them, from a single output on an Adafruit Pi hat, which is connected to our Raspberry Pi 4. A Pi 4 is overkill for this. It could run quite happily off a Pi 0 2W, um, It'll work just beautifully like that and would be good for a tune to sign um, on the end of some Wi-Fi, something like that. And the Adafruit hat uh, fits perfectly. It's the same dimensions as a Pi uh, Zero 02 uh, or a Pi Zero, um, but I haven't got one here at the moment, so I can't demonstrate with it. Hence, I'm using the Pi 4, uh, which I had to hand. Now, if we look at the back of the panels that I've got assembled here and look at the arrows on the back, we can see how I've connected it up to make a single string of four panels um, going two across and then we go down and then we come back across another two. So if we look at the arrows, you can see the arrows on the PCB. So we're coming in at the start here. We're then gonna move across via this ribbon to the next panel and the arrows are still going across this way. So we come out here and then we're gonna jump down to the bottom row and our arrows at this point have turned. So the bottom two panels have been rotated 180 degrees so they're effectively upside down. Now from here, we're going in here, back out here across and back out to the end. So the front row of arrows goes across and points up and the bottom row points across the other way and points down towards me. So that's our four panels, uh, a single string of four panels, which is gonna do the job for us today and end up in our two by two configuration. So I'll just do the final bit of, configure of connecting. So I've got a single ribbon cable to join them all in. I'm gonna plug that into the input of the first panel and into the uh, Pi hat, into the Adafruit uh, Pi hat, there we go. So that's our data plugged in and I just need to give it some power. So I've got a trusty Meanwell uh, five volt power supply. There we go, we've got a couple of cables uh, connected via a Hansen uh, power distro fuse board. So one, two, three and four and there we go that's our that will be our panels powered as soon as I plug it in okay so we're all plugged in and powered up and now I'm going to configure the hat in FPP um, and we'll run a short sequence that I prepared earlier just to demonstrate that all four panels are now uh, working as we expect in FPP here then, we're gonna to go to Input Output Setup, Channel Outputs. We're gonna to go to LED Panels. And we're gonna set up for two wide by two high. There we go. Our panels here are P, our panels are P5s. So we'll set that up for 64 by 32 uh, 1 16th scan, which is the standard for P5 indoor panels. Our model start is top left. And our wiring, while I'm on this page, our wiring pinout is an Adafruit hat and they're wired slightly different to normal. So we just need to set that. And then I'm gonna scroll down our GPIO slowdown 
uh, is on five. That's the fastest that it can do. And we've got the fastest pi in a P4. So let's now set our uh, config. So with the input coming in, uh, when viewed from the front, the input is coming in top right. So that's this panel here. So that is output one. Thank you, I love this mouse. Um, output one, panel one, and the arrow is pointing up. We're then moving across. Everything is gonna stay on output one because it's the only, uh, output one is the only output on this panel. So this is then panel uh, two. Sorry, that means it's the only output on the hat. The hat only has one output, so it's all gonna be output one. We then drop down uh, to panel three. Now this one is upside down, so we need to spin this arrow around by clicking on it. So I'm gonna click twice to drop it upside down. And again on panel four. There we go, so that's our four panels set up, our string of four set up as a zigzag. So we're coming in at the top, and coming across, down and back out. So let's save that. And then I'll scroll back up and restart FPPD. There we go, that's having a quick think about life. And FPPD FPP has now restarted, FPPD. So we can go into display testing to make sure that we've got control of all of our pixels. So I'm gonna go into status control, display testing. Now FPP has been help, a little bit helpful here just to uh, help us. Our end channel is not correct there. We've got four P5s, each with 2,048 pixels. So I'll do the sums quickly for you. That means we've got 24,576 channels. 24,576. Uh, with 2,050, uh, 2,048 pixels per P5. We've got four of them. So that's 8,192. Multiply that by three for red, green, and blue on each panel, and that gives you your 24,576. So I've set that in there, start as one, end as 24,576, and if I now enable test mode, we're not getting anything. Ah, let's go back to input output setup, uh, channel outputs, and I suspect I didn't enable LED panels, I didn't, I'm good at this. So make sure you enable LED panels before you save and come out. We'll restart again. So FPPD has now restarted, so we're ready to go into display testing. So I'm gonna go into status control, back into display testing. Our end channel is still wrong, so I'm just gonna update that. And then I'm gonna enable test mode. There we go. And we've got our panels now working in test mode quite happily. We've got all of the pixels lighting up and red, green, and blue. Let's just switch across to cycle RGB. And we're going for red, green, blue. Red, green, and blue and that's working beautifully. So we're now ready to go for a sequence. So I've got a sequence that I prepared earlier, so I'm just gonna hit play on that. And there we go, there's our lovely logo displayed across the four panels. And that's all we have for you on this short video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe down below and uh, we'll keep you updated this year as we move through um, and go through some of the new releases of FPP. Um, we're gonna rejig some of the old training videos, bring them up to 2022 standard, 
So please come along and uh, we look forward to seeing you. And we're also hoping to see you live in uh, at the UK Elf Mini later in the year. Um, and also hopefully at Christmas Expo um, as soon as the location is announced. So hopefully we'll see you live. Um, and if not, then we'll see you back here for more fun and FPP uh, with panels uh, later in the year. Have fun, take care, see you soon.